Hey, so before this video started, I just wanted to let you all know that I recorded a lot of these um, product shots like a while back, and I I don't know if I really recorded enough for the video, so a lot of it might be reused or I might just use like pictures off the internet or something. Um, so I apologize for that, but I don't really have I don't really have an area to take more product shots or anything, and so it's just gonna be how it is. So sorry. Hello and welcome to my review of the Blue Snowball Ice. Just so you know, for this entire review, I will be uh, speaking in to the Blue Snowball Ice, so you can get a, an accurate uh, representation of how it sounds. Now the difference between the Blue Snowball and the Blue Snowball Ice is that the Blue Snowball is slightly more expensive, about like 10 to $15 more expensive, and then it also has an extra polar pattern, whereas the uh, Blue Snowball Ice only has cardioid pattern, the Blue Snowball has both cardioid and omnidirectional. But besides those differences, there really is no audible sound difference between the two microphones. They, are, they both sound pretty much the same, you're just paying an extra $10 for the switch, really, that you're honestly probably never going to use. Now on to what you receive if you buy one of these. So, the Blue Snowball Ice comes with the microphone itself, a very short stand, which you may see later in the video, and a about a 6 foot long um, USB cord to plug it into your computer. As mentioned before, the stand is pretty short and not very practical over something like a boom arm. However, that isn't my biggest problem with it. In some of the footage, you can see that the threads on the blue snowball are metal, while the threads on the stand are plastic. And after use of the stand, the plastic threads have been just chewed up by the metal. Now the cord I honestly don't have any complaints about. I mean it's it's been fairly long enough for what I've been using it for and it's pretty easy to plug in so I don't really have any complaints about that. Right so I can honestly say that I would recommend this mic um, for YouTube which I'm assuming that's why most people would be watching this. If you're like starting out on YouTube, this is a very inexpensive microphone. Although I would I would save a little more money to buy the normal Snowball, just because you don't get that many more features. But it this I do hear that the stand is a little better, and it might just be a better investment overall. I don't know, but that's just my opinions. But I would definitely recommend this, and maybe get a boom arm with it as well. I don't know. Now, for some of you who don't necessarily really care that much about audio. This could be your forever mic if you're doing YouTube, or maybe if you're just getting it to talk to friends or something like that. Um, but if you are doing YouTube, I would suggest upgrading after this, but this is definitely a good intro mic. Like something to just get you into starting to make videos. For its price, it is a very high quality mic. You can't really beat it at that price point. Right, so there you have it. Tell me in the comments. What do you think of the microphone? Um, I'll leave links to both the Snowball Ice and the Normal Snowball in the in the description below, so you can go check them out if you're interested in buying. I'm not. They're not affiliate links, by the way, so I'm not trying to like get money off you or anything. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching.